Before you start creating your product, establish a business, find means to market, you must first determine who you want to sell to and whether they are buyers or not. This is Niche Marketing 101 Made Easy. Throughout this course, you will learn how to find highly profitable and hungry markets. You will be going through the process of researching and brainstorming possible niches. Within this module, you will also be discovering some of the tools which are readily available online that will help you to untap and discover niches in the quickest time possible. After this, you should never be stuck with ideas or have an issue finding a profitable niche again. So let's begin. Let's begin by briefly explaining what is a niche market. A niche market is basically the subset of the market on which a specific product is focusing on. Niche marketing on the other hand is a technique used by affiliates and product vendors to seek out small segments of larger markets. A product or website is then created to serve these unique targeted audiences by providing specific solutions to them. You might be wondering, why is niche marketing so important? Niche marketing is important because you are to be viewed as an expert and provide solutions for your audiences. And if you're going to provide solutions for your audiences and would want them to buy from you, you would need to be the expert. With that said, it is easier to be an expert at one thing than an expert at all things. Furthermore, customers only buy from people they like, admire, and also trust. So by focusing on a smaller niche market, you will have more targeted customers and less competition as well. So let's think about the concept of niche marketing for a while. Before you can sell something, you need an audience, correct? And to sell to an audience, you need to understand them. Once you understand your audience, you need to promote a relevant product to them. Niche hunting, also known as your market research, is the root and key to all successful campaigns. It is very crucial that you understand this point because it is very important to select the right market before you decide what kind of product to sell. Many affiliates, merchants and internet marketers, when they research online, they make a mistake by choosing a product to sell first when beforehand, they should really choose the right market first. Because the principle is you need to understand the audience before you can actually provide a solution to them. Therefore, this makes your market research the most important and critical aspect of your entire campaign. Now let's identify what are the niche hunting objectives and what are the things that you need to be looking out for when you're doing your market research. Step 1. Find a hot, hungry, starving crowd. Notice the emphasis here is hot, hungry, starving crowd. By hot, hungry and starving, these people are those that are ever ready to pull out their wallets to buy a solution. You're not going to be finding just any audience but you're going to be looking for an audience that wants to spend money on your products. Step 2. You have to analyze and understand their problems, trends and behaviors. In order to sell to them, you need to understand what is going through their mind, what are the problems that they are experiencing, and also what are the trends and behaviors they have throughout the year. Step 3. You have to brainstorm specific solutions that you can provide to them based on your market findings. So now that you've already found your hungry market, you've understood their problems, you're then to become the expert who provides a solution to their problems. When you're doing your niche hunting, you should satisfy a few points. You should satisfy what are the specific market needs, which price range is most suited for this audience, what is the production quality in the existing market, what is the demographic intended to impact. So, the questions that you should ask yourself before building a successful campaign are Number one, who exactly is your audience? Number two, what are they looking for? Number three, how can you help them? Four, what can you offer them? And finally, the most important question is, why would they listen to you rather than anyone else? Before we start searching for your niches, you need to understand how the niche process works. Step one, you need to find a niche. Step two, you need to understand the niche. Step three, you need to create and find a product to promote to this niche.
and this is where you're going to provide a solution to them. Step 4. You build your campaign, your copywriting, traffic and website that caters to your market. Step 5. You rip in the big profits. Before we go in depth of using tools to find your niches, there are three main industries that are highly lucrative that you should be aware of. They are health, wealth and relationships. You can never really go wrong with this because these are the three main industries where people are always having problems and desperately looking for solutions. However, these three categories mentioned here are very broad. So what you need to do is to follow the tools that will be demonstrated later to dig deeper into these broad categories to find a more specific niche. This way, you can become the expert to provide specific solutions to your chosen niche easier, faster and better. Some lucrative markets are people in transitions. For example, if someone just lost a $5,000 salary job, he will be at a point where he's frustrated and desperately needs some sort of income replacement. He would probably need to find alternative means to make money soon or find another job as soon as possible. You may target this niche by providing them a how to make money online course or presenting them a home-based business opportunity. Another example would be a wife filing for a divorce. This is also a transitional period where the couple may be looking for a specific solution for the family or solutions on how to move forward with their relationship. Sometimes one side of the couple may even be seeking out advice to get back together with the spouse or partner. So people in transitions are normally hungry because they are desperately in need to get out of their current chaos. Another lucrative market is the in the news trends. In the news trends happens normally with a quick dash. It's a wave that needs to be caught. An example of the in the news trends would be the recent retrenchment and unemployment news. People losing their jobs are buzzing all over the news. These people are currently in chaos. They've lost their jobs and will most definitely need to find a replacement as soon as possible to sustain their lifestyle and their monthly commitments. Another example would be celebrity diets. Buzzing news about the latest celebrity diets can most likely be read and heard of through the latest gossip magazines, TV channels like E! News or websites under the Today's Picks session. You see that when a trend swings through the media, it is hot and people very often craze about it during that period of time. People that ride on this wave want to find out more about this particular trend to see how it can actually help them in any means. Moving forward, we are going to use some tools that are readily available online for some niche hunting strategies. These tools are free, so there's no need for you to actually pay for any of them. The 7 strategies that will be demonstrated here are more than enough for you to find thousands of niches and build a very profitable campaign. The 7 niche hunting strategies that we will be going through are Google Directory, Google Keyword Tool, Google Trends, MSN, Forums, Clickbank and Quantcast. The first strategy is to use Google Directory. You can get access to this tool by going to the URL google.com slash dirhp or more easily you can head over to the Google search engine and just type in Google Directory and you'll find this website very easily. When you enter the Google Directory website this is exactly what you will see on the Google Directory first page. You'll see a list of broad categories. These are very broad markets, so how we use this tool is to dig deeper to find a specific niche from it. How you use the Google Directory tool is to start broad and then dig deep. So start by clicking on one of the broad categories which you may be interested in promoting. Let's try health because health is a very well searched and as we talked about earlier, it's a lucrative industry. So let's go deeper and see how far we can narrow this industry. After clicking on the health category, you will then see a list of subcategories under the health category. The numbers in grey, which are next to the subcategories, are basically the number of subcategories within this main market. So as you can see, there are thousands and thousands of ideas that you can explore from over here. If you were to dig deeper under health and then to conditions and diseases, you will see that there are even more specific natures that you can drill down into. So let's go on and dig 
down deeper even more until we find a niche that is narrow and specific enough. After four levels of digging, we have just found sleep apnea as one of the possible niches you can enter. And the beauty is, you did this in less than a minute. Look over at the top of the great crown navigation, we started with health, then conditions and diseases, then to sleep disorders, and finally, sleep apnea is a niche we have identified within this market. Another way to use this tool is to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there, you will see a number of related web pages for this particular niche we have identified. You can make use of this section as information research to explore more about your niche. The second strategy is to use the Google Keyword Tool. You can also find this tool just by simply searching on the term Google Keyword Tool in a Google search engine. This is an amazing tool because it will tell you how many times a keyword or phrase has been searched on a monthly basis. It also gives you information on the advertising competition for any keywords. The information you can gather from the keyword tool is invaluable because you'll be able to identify the popularity of the keywords and gauge the profitability of those keywords. If there is a high search volume for a specific keyword, then it means that a lot of people are looking for information related to that term. If the advertising competition level is high, it indicates that a lot of marketers are advertising on those keywords and most likely means that it is profitable term because marketers are spending money on those keywords. So how you use those tools is like this. Step 1. Key in one keyword or phrase per line. In this case, we're going to start with the term how to cure. Some other keywords that you can use for your research are terms like how to remove, natural remedies, home remedies, treatments, solutions, lessons, instructions, reviews, secrets, learn. The purpose of researching for keywords like this is to trigger the shopper's mindsets. What we want to do is to go into the shopper's mindset and see what are the problems that they are encountering. If they are searching for these terms, then it means that they are facing problems related to those keywords. Step 2. Type in the characters that you see in the picture that appears on your screen. This is basically for Google to know that you are not a robot and that an actual human is utilizing this tool. Lastly, all you need to do is hit the Get Keyword IDs button and wait a couple of seconds for the system to crawl through the search engine. What you will then see is a list of keywords that users are typing in the Google search engine. In this demonstration, we have researched under the term how to cure and you can see there's a great deal of invaluable ideas and niches that you can pluck out from this data. Some of the results we've gathered from this one minute search are how to cure acne, how to cure constipation, how to cure eczema, how to cure depression, and lots more. In column B, the advertiser competition is a bar that shows an indication of the amount of marketers that are advertising on this specific search terms. If the bar is full, this goes to show that this is a profitable niche because people are actually paying money to advertise on it. However, this could also indicate that there are a lot of competition in this niche as well. In columns C and D, you will see local search volume and a global monthly search respectively. These numbers represent the amount of people that are searching on this key phrase for the month. For strategy number three, we will use a to tool called Google Trends. Same like the previous two strategies, all you need to do is go to the Google search engine and type in Google Trends and you will find this tool readily available. How Google Trend works is it will show you the search trends of users. It will draft out a graph and show you the user's search trend and behaviors over a period of number of months and years. Let's demonstrate this tool by researching on a term like lose weight. After typing in the lose weight term and clicking on the search trends button, you'll see a graph plotted like this. From this lose weight search term, you can see from a graph that there is normally a spike at the end of each year. This indicates that there is a much higher search behavior for the term lose weight at the end of the year. Some of the reasons behind this behavior could be because people are getting ready for Christmas or possibly entering towards their weight loss New Year's resolutions. By using Google Trends tool, you can see whether a niche will be profitable market to go into or not. Ideally, you would want to step into a market that has a rising trend. For this lose weight market example, you can see that overall, you can see between 2004 up to 2009, there has been an increasing trend in the lose weight market and this is a good indication. 
if you are researching on a market and it results in a declining trend, then you certainly do not want to enter this market because it could possibly result in wasted time and efforts. So always make use of this tool to identify the patterns and trends of the market before entering into any of them. Remember to only step into the market at the time where it has got a rising trend. Let's take a look at just one more example. Golf Slice. You can see from the graph, it has got an N-shaped wave. By analyzing this piece of data, you can gather that people do not normally play at the end of the winter or at the beginning of the year because it's cold. Golfers are normally most active during summer when it's hot and sunny. Okay. Hence, if you ever consider entering into the golf market, then it would be wise to go into the market just when it is at the beginning of summer because that is when the trend starts to rise. Finally, one more way of utilizing this tool is to look at the regions at the bottom of the page. It is an example for the term how to make money online. By looking at the bottom left of the page, you can see that the highest searched region that is looking for how to make money online term is actually Nigeria. Who would have thought that Nigeria would be the highest searched region for this how to make money online term? And you can see, United States is actually only in position number 7, where position 1 is Nigeria, number 2 is the Philippines, and number 3 is Malaysia. So, you can now see with a Google Trend tool, it gives you a whole lot of insights about the market and when is the ideal time to start your campaigns for specific markets. Your campaigns can also cater more specifically to the highest search region of population. With the MSN tool, you will be able to find highly relevant and seasonal information, which is extremely helpful for your in the news trend niche research. As you can see at the top of MSN page, just under the search bar, there are 25 categories where you can start broad and then dig deep, just like the Google Directory tool. In the middle of the MSN page, you can make use of the Today's Picks section. This section here gives you a scope of the hottest topic selection for the day. Finally, at the bottom right, you can get a scope of the news that is discussed recently. Overall, MSN is a highly effective tool to find in the news trends where you can discover what people are talking about today and what are the problems that you can squeeze into and profit from. Forums are a great place to find out what exactly your audience are thinking and talking about. This is the place where a community hangs out, discusses, and share their problems and experiences. So with forums, you can leverage on the community to find out what are their desires, lacking and needs. With these real market insights, you can brainstorm the kind of possible solutions you can provide for them. How you use this tool is to start by going to the Google search engine and typing in the niche you have in mind and add in the keyword forum after it. In this demonstration, like the example we'll be using is Insomnia Forum, where Insomnia is our niche. Under this Insomnia Forum search results, it will display several pages of forums. Click on one or more of the search results and research deeper into one that is most active. That means there are a lot of recent posts and replies within the forum. Now, inside of this forum that was found on the Google search engine through the term Insomnia Forum, the strategy here is to scan through the topics and take note of what the community is talking about, how many people have replied, and most importantly, go through the topics with high number of views and replies. Also take note of the date of the last post because you should only spend your efforts on the most recent post and not on topics that are dated way back. So this is how you use the forum strategy to find out what people are discussing and what are their existing problems. With this tool, you can brainstorm possible solutions for the problems you have identified through the forums. ClickBank is the number one world's largest affiliate network. With this tool, you can research on existing products that caters to specific natures that you have in mind. Alternatively, if you have still haven't got a clue of which niche you want to enter, you can browse through the category section to see what are some of the markets which could potentially interest you. With a ClickBank tool, you can gather what are the existing products in the market and see how many players are in the market. You can get a gauge that if there are a lot of products created for the niche, it implies that this niche is profitable and therefore, it may be something that you may want to look at. 
However, more products for niche also imply more competition. Now let's go through how to utilize the ClickBank tool. Currently, we are on ClickBank's marketplace. You can access this page simply by clicking on the marketplace at the top navigation of ClickBank's website. In the marketplace, you can do your research by going through the categories listing. There are a total of nine broad categories. Next step is to then select the subcategories and click Go. ClickBank will then generate search results of the products under your selected category listing. Other ways to use the ClickBank tool is to make use of the keyword search bar or sort your search by product type, popularity, and languages as well. For this demonstration, we ran through the search term muscle gaining. You can see from this search there are a high number of products that is under the niche muscle gaining. At the bottom of each result, there are some invaluable statistics which you can gather to get a scope of what the merchant's offering. So in this case, for no-nonsense master building, the product vendor pays their affiliate an average of $59.96 per sale and offers a percentage sale payout of 74%. For the graph column, this product is at 127.38. This gravity means simply indicates the number of affiliates that has made a sale over the past 8 weeks. The higher the gravity number, the more affiliates have successfully marketed this product, which also implies that this niche is profitable. So from here, you can gather some of great information to see what the existing products that these merchants have. You may even click on the view pitch page to spy on the merchant's sales page to see what exactly they are doing. If they are profiting already, there is no need to reinvent the wheel. Just innovate from your competitions as this will save you a great amount of time and research. Quantcast is a tool that you can use to find the demographics of your audience. This tool allows you to gather traffic statistics and demographics data for any existing sites on the internet. For this demonstration, we will carry forward the example No Nonsense Building Secrets that was used in the ClickBank tool. The first step is to enter the URL of the website that you would like to research on and then click on View Profile. With our example No Nonsense Building Secrets, the website URL is www.vincedelmontefitness.com As you can see from the results generated from Quantcast, the majority of the audience that visits this website are male. They are in the age range of 35 to 49 and their income range is 0 to $30,000. With this information, you can brainstorm further to get an idea on what this age group of people do and how they behave. Subsequently, you can cater your campaign to communicate more effectively with this target audience. By using the 7 niche hunting tools earlier, you would have noticed that a trend of using the tools is to always start broad and then dig deep. Always remember that relevancy is the key. Always look out for niches where the audience will be ready to pull their wallets to buy and not people who only want to free ride of information. Finally, to gauge if this niche is profitable or not, check if affiliates or merchants are advertising. By using your personal experience to find profitable niches, try to recall and identify the needed problems that you've experienced and had before. Recall also what are the solutions that you actually bought to resolve your problems. Note down the experience you went through and identify why and what led you to take action of purchasing a solution. Now let's talk briefly about competition. Competition is something that a lot of marketers fear of or and shy away from. However, what you need to know is that competition is actually a really good thing. Why you're probably thinking. The reason is simply because if there are a lot of competitors in the market, it implies that the market is actually profitable. Otherwise, people will not enter the market, correct? Because it is profitable, more and more people go into the niche to try to take a pie of the profits. So don't be afraid of competition. Instead, learn to embrace it and learn how to become a better, wiser and smarter marketer to stay on top of the competition. To become a better, wiser and smarter marketer, you need to observe what your competitors are doing. One of the ways to do this is to subscribe to their mailing list. Analyze how they write and take notes of how they communicate with their subscribers. Another way to analyze your competitors is to go through their sales letter. See how exactly your competitors are marketing 
and how you can actually innovate from it. If possible, point out their weaknesses and make them your strength. With these two approaches, find out who has the best customer support, what is their commission percentage and payout, how long have they been around, and if there are any bonuses offered, what are they? And finally, conduct a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis is where you analyze your competitors and your own products. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. If you're able to identify your competitors' weaknesses, what you should do is to turn them around and make them your strength. By analyzing the opportunities and threats, you get the upper hand of knowing how the market behaves and how to go about them. Coming to the end of niche marketing, the markets out there are limitless. With the seven niche hunting strategies demonstrated in this course, you have learned how to find hundreds of niches very quickly. This means that you will never have an issue of finding a profitable niche ever again. When conducting your research, remember to always be as specific as possible. Hungry markets will always pay to have their needy problems solved for them. So only target this group of people and always be in the position of the problem solver who provides solutions. Last but not least, niche marketing is an extremely valuable skill. It is not something that a lot of marketers practice and learn. With this skill, you are definitely a step ahead. It might take a few more practices before you master all of the techniques taught in this course, but rest assured that it will become easier as you progress with more practices. Very soon, you'll be reaping big profits with a shorter amount of time and become the top leader of your market.